you know, it's kind of humorous, but I really can't tell you enough how much I'm really glad that I'm not a Muslim. I just so thrilled to be able to say I'm not a Mormon. You know, I'm actually kind of excited to, even though, you know, God bless my Catholic brethren, but you know, I kind of like not being a Catholic, you know, and I kind of enjoy who I am, you know, the way I am. You know, kick back, relax, enjoy God. Because <laughs> If it was about doing all these things, you know, that seems like people work themselves up to do, you know, like working on their salvation, you know, I mean, the Bible does say to work out your salvation, you know, with fear and trembling, because you kind of have to bring it from the inside outside, but what changes on the inside is what God does. What changes on the outside is kind of what he and I do, you know, we work it together, you know, I kind of go, oh... So you've already done it on the inside, so now I gotta kind of practice it on the outside, like like you know, help people and love them and stuff, you know. God says, Yeah. <laughs> so I go, Okay, well as long as you took care of it on the inside, I I guess I don't have a problem because actually it's kinda of easy to do once I know it's already in me to love someone. Because frankly, if you try to do it from the outside in you're just going to get pissed off in your mind, you know, in your heart, and get angry and frustrated and aggravated, you know, and kind of get legalistic and start pointing fingers at people. But I think that's why I'm glad that, you know, I'm saved by grace, you know. I, I kind of like this grace thing, you know, this mercy, you know. I kind of like falling into loving kindness, you know. I love that word, loving kindness, you know. It's like, ooh, loving kindness, yeah, you know kind of kindness that loves you, you know, because there's love that people say they love you and they, you know, like smack you around and they call it tough love, you know. I thank God that God doesn't have really that kind of tough love, you know. He has loving kindness, you know, he has grace, he has mercy, you know. Oh, sure, he may stand back and let you suffer the consequences of your own actions, but it's kind of like he says, look, you come over here in the shade and you're out of the sun. If you stand in the sun, you're going to get burned. So you can come over here, you know, and kind of stand in the shade, and while you're over here, I'll probably give you some sunblock and some sun lotion, you know, take care of that, that hot sun. But you stand out there in the sun, while I'm standing in the shade, you're going to get burned. And it's kind of like, you know, rain, you know, it's like when it's raining, you take an umbrella. So if you don't really talk to God about it, you really don't have kind of a complaint much to say what your circumstances of life are because really most of the things that happen in your life are consequences of what you did. Now, I'll admit there's a lot that God allows to happen in your life so that you would come to Him. So sometimes it's kind of like He's going, hey, check it out. Come over here. I got some sunblock for you. But you got to come over here to get it. You can't stay over there to keep it. You know, you're just going to get burned. So come over here and you get sunburned. Stay over there, you get sunburned. You figure it out. It's kind of like the way heaven and hell is, you know. It's like you can come over here, but in order to get here, you got to do something about it. If you stay over there, you're going to hell. If you don't do nothing about it, you're going to go there. So you don't really have to do anything in order to get there. You're already heading there. You know that, and I know that. So let's don't play games. So God just lets you go do your thing and you figure it out, you know, that you go, you know, I'm beginning to get worried about this hell thing, you know, it's beginning to kind of nag me, you know, maybe I better straighten out my act, you know, and get back right with God. God says, come on back, it's time, don't wait too long because pretty soon there won't be time. And so you, you kind of go, I like that, you know, I think I'll go back to God and, you know, find mercy and grace, you know, for he's provided that for me. And I guess that's why I like not being a Mormon, and I like not being a, you know, Muslim, and I like not being a Hindu, and I like not being, you know, kind of all these other philosophies and all these religions that make you work at it. Because, personally, in case you hadn't gathered about me, I kind of like kicking back, you know, and kicking it easy. Kind of enjoying the sunshine, you know? Kind of...
resting. You know, being at peace, having some love inside, you know, a little joy now and then. You know, enjoy. Kind of like that. Makes me think of a nice summer day. Lean and back. Nice warm breeze goes by, you know. Maybe a little barbecue. Maybe a little beach time. Maybe a little sunshine, a little shade. You know, the relaxing kind of thing. Maybe that's what you need today. Maybe you need to take a little time to spend a little time, you know, with your God. You know, the one that you're serving. Because what I'm serving, I kind of like where I'm at, you know. Because he's basically taking care of me and he seems to be bringing me to the place that I've trusted him to take me to. Because that's kind of why I gave him my life in the first place. It wasn't just so that, you know, I could serve him like, you know, kind of being a slave, but so that I could learn to live with him for eternity. And I, I kind of like God being that way, you know, because he seems to be showing me that life isn't all about work, but it is a lot about being thankful and grateful, kind of like lovely and forgiving, you know, merciful. Yeah. But maybe that's just me. I will mention the loving kindness of the Lord and the praises of the Lord according to all that the Lord has bestowed on us. He brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my goings. I know where I'm going because I know where I come from and I know how I'm going to get there. <laughs> the Son of God loved me and gave himself for me. He that spared not his own Son but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? You know, I kind of wonder about that sometimes. You know, I get these people that kind of come up to me and tell me you know, that they, they want to get all they got right now rather than give all they got for him. And I kind of go... I think the reason why I get what I get is so I can give it away rather than get what I want in order to keep it for myself. Because that sounds like the world, you know, kind of like, you know, making your own little kingdom. I don't want to be in my own little kingdom, you know. I want to be in his kingdom. So I kind of give it away, you know. If I get it, I give it, you know. If I've got it, I leave it, you know, in his hands to do with what he wants to do with it, you know. If it's a bike, you know, and God says give it to someone, well... As my wife will tell you, or anyone else, my sisters or family, hey, if God said give it, I gave it. <laughs> That's why instead of two bikes right now, we only got one. That's my wife's bike. Mine's gone. <laughs> Who has also sealed us and given us the earnest of the Spirit in our hearts, which is the earnest of our inheritance, until the redemption of the purchased possession, unto the praise of His glory. In other words, you know, we're going to get there because he already bought and paid the price for us, but he hasn't quite claimed us yet as his own. So when he does, then we're going to go and get out of here because, I don't know about you, but this this really isn't our home. You know, it's kind of like we're passing through. You know, we, we enjoy it for a while, but sooner or later it's time to leave. And it's not like we're heading for, you know, a strange destination, but we're leaving this place, which is the closest to hell we get, this is our hell, literally hell on earth. To get to heaven, which is like, ooh, cool. <laughs> the universe is just opening up for us. God, who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, has quickened us together with Jesus. By grace are you saved. And hath raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Now that's what I call my kind of God. You know, I just want to kick back and sit back with God. You know, kind of watch everybody else work it, you know, kind of do their little maneuverings, you know, these political games. You know, the political games. You see them, you know, you hear them all the time. You know, do these little uh, economic games, you know, worried about this, that, and the other thing, you know, do I got a job? Do I get this job? Am I going to get promotion? Am I going to get a raise? Am I going to, you know, whatever. You know, or kind of like, you know, the social thing, you know, Am I going to get married? Am I going to have kids? Am I going to have two-car garage? You know, how many cars and trucks and boats and SUVs and smartphones and cell phones and iPads will I have? Well, I am my man cave, you know. 
Sure, Glenn, I'm not, you know, worried about those things. Because, you know, I like, I like being seated in heavenly places. I like kicking back in the universe. You know, I kind of like tripping out on the celestial kingdom, so to speak. And I'm not talking for Mormons, but I'm saying, hey, we're talking about heaven is real, and we get to go there. You know, and man, I'm kind of, I'm kind of already halfway there. You know, I got my foot in the door, so to speak. And I'm ready to leave this behind, because, man, this ain't nothing compared to what, man, I'm counting on God doing. And, you know, I know my hope won't be ashamed, because I know God's bigger than I am, so he's got so much more than I even imagined. And i got a good imagination, so I kind of enjoy being kicked back, laid back, peaceful, trusting the Lord. Loving my God. Kinda the way it ought to be, don't you think? Isn't that the way God should be? If He's God and we're not? I mean, after all, oh, did He say He was finished? Didn't He say oh, oh, it's accomplished? Man, what am I worried about then? I think I'll just. Take it easy. <laughs> and relax. And don't worry, man. I think that God's got it controlled. And man, I think it's okay. I think God's alright. I think He's going to make everything alright. In His time. In His way. Hey, don't worry. You know, man, it's like open. We going through it. You take care today. Relax. God's got you.